So 2020 has been a year like no other. Well, first of all, at the very beginning of the year, I joined the Motoring TV family. Zach Spencer, welcome to Motoring TV, man. I only came because I love the shirts. And we were all excited, and then COVID hit. So the first car that I'm choosing is a Porsche, but it's not this one. I just happen to have a Taycan here and it looks so good, I thought I'd use it. So the very first car that I wanna mention is like a beginning and an end for us. It was the very first trip that I ever went on with Motoring TV and it was also the last trip of the year due to COVID-19. It's the Porsche Cayman and Boxster GTS with the new four liter flat six engine. This was in Portugal at the Estoril racetrack and what a great trip. And what a fantastic car. So if you follow along with Porsche, the Boxster and the Cayman went to a four cylinder turbo and a lot of enthusiasts didn't like that so much. So this year they brought back the GTS. It's got unique exterior design cues with more black trim and dark elements. And on the inside, you get beautiful Alcantara finishes. Now the most important thing is the 295 horsepower naturally aspirated four liter six cylinder that's in the middle of the car. In addition, you also get a sport suspension, the car sits a little bit lower, and it really is the high performance Boxster or Cayman you could live with every single day without having to buy the GT4. So that's kind of the fancy car. We'll get that one out of the way and it kicked off the beginning of 2020. I have chosen some great everyday vehicles that really impress me and two of them are for one brand. And it's really encouraging to see what Nissan is doing. The first one up is the all new Nissan Rogue. So this latest 2021 Nissan Rogue has an all new design inside and out. It's nothing like the old vehicle at all. It has a square design that's sharp the interior is fitted with much better materials. And yes, the engine is carried over. It's still a two and a half liter four cylinder, but 80% of the parts in the engine are brand new. A lot of people will want to know, does it have a CVT? Yes, it has a continuously variable transmission at play, but the drivability of this new Rogue is so much better than the last model. So keep an eye on Nissan. They're doing a lot of things right, in my opinion. And another vehicle that makes my list of 2020 top vehicles is the Nissan Sentra. Now this is an almost forgotten nameplate. This new model, however, gets them back in the game in the compact car conversation. It's an all new model and it's light years ahead of the old car, especially with the introduction of independent rear suspension. So the car handles very well and the cabin is refined and comfortable. So the Sentra should be back in the compact car conversation. As I mentioned, Nissan is doing a lot of things right and a brand that you should keep an eye on. Now, one of the most talked about vehicles of 2020, it's actually 2021 model, and created a whole lot of buzz online, is a plug-in hybrid and an SUV. The next vehicle on the list is the Toyota RAV4 Prime. I just can't believe how much talk there was and buzz leading up to the introduction. Toyota has delivered with an amazing product this RAV4 Prime has more power at 302 horsepower. It will even make a run to 100 kilometers an hour in just six seconds, but that's really not important. What is important is 68 kilometers of pure electric range before it reverts back to the already efficient Toyota RAV4 hybrid system. Now there is an issue with this RAV4 Prime. It's getting one. Contact your dealer. Probably the best thing to do is get on a waiting list and hopefully we will get more of them as we go through 2021. Now, one vehicle, actually I could put this at the very top of my list of vehicles that impressed me the most this year. And that is from General Motors, the Cadillac CT5V. This car has 360 horsepower from a twin turbo V6 engine. It has 405 pound-feet of torque, Plus it comes standard with magnetic ride control, an electronic limited slip rear differential, standard Brembo brakes, and it's an absolute joy to drive. So here's a news flash for other car manufacturers. Get in that Cadillac, use the computer interface and see how easy it is to use. And there's real buttons below the screen. A lot of other brands could learn from what Cadillac is doing right on the interior of their car. 
And the last is not one particular car. It's a group of cars from Mercedes-Benz. We featured them here on the show throughout the year. It's the small family of vehicles from Mercedes-Benz that include the A-Class, the CLA, the GLA, and also the new GLB. So this entire small family of vehicles share the same platform and engines and transmissions. They are just an absolute joy to drive and they all feature the new interior Mercedes-Benz user experience that is so intuitive and easy to use. So there's a list of the vehicles that really stood out to me. There's lots of great product available in the marketplace. It's going to be interesting to see what comes in the upcoming year. So 2020, quite a year, one we'll never forget. So here's the question, where were you 32 years ago? I know some of you weren't even a glint in your father's eye. As for me, well, I was in diapers, but found time to get motoring TV off the ground. And today, I like to think we've got one of the best automotive video libraries in the world. If you agree, please give us the thumbs up and also subscribe. We really appreciate it.